Great. So the question is uh, from Liz about these monthly Q&A calls that I do. W what benefits have been found by doing these monthly calls? Well, um, uh, certainly it allows me to, uh, you know, tell people, hey, um, this conversation is turning uh, this chat, you know, or this uh, message thread or this Q&A uh, forum thread is, is getting longer <laughs> Than, than we can do here, than I, than I can do here. So why don't you come to my next monthly Q&A call? So yeah, I think that's, that's the main benefit for me. Also, it, it, it of course helps to come up with content ideas too. People ask questions. I mean, these things can become content ideas. Um, for example, especially as I take notes, a way to send people to have a longer convo without having to type so much in a form thread or message, private message thread. Now, if, of course, I typically just allow people who have signed up for recent classes, but you know, occasionally if I feel like I wanna you know, give someone access to it, that's okay, I can, I can invite them. Um, uh, never, I don't see why I would ever have to change or cancel the monthly call. I mean, it's basically due to planning. I mean, I have been supporting my mother when she had an accident. I supported my brother with an accident. I was there and I did calls like this. I taught courses like this. I, I really, um, I know, I know people, people think I'm such a hard ass and I kind of am because like, why do we ever have to cancel things that we schedule? I mean, we really shouldn't ever have to do that. It's like, I, I think, I know I'm so uncompassionate. I, I am, I'm, I'm quite uncompassionate when it comes to people canceling appointments. Cause I'm like, well, I mean, unless you're on your deathbed, you should never cancel appointments. You should always show up. I always show up, no matter how sick I am. I, I've had, I had COVID before. I showed up anyway. I wasn't, no, my thank, thank goodness for my health. You know, I don't have the comorbidities and stuff. I showed up anyway. So, <laughs> sorry. That's, that's, I'm, I try to be compassionate in most things, but I'm not compassionate when it comes to scheduling or re rescheduling or canceling calls. I'm like, sorry. Okay, all right. <laughs> so how do we keep the boundaries tightly locked to an hour? We'll see, right? <laughs> We're at the beginning of the Q&A call right now. And one, one thing I've done is um, I have a visual timer here on my phone next to me and the five minutes is clicking off. So I just, you know, it's, a, it's, a, it's an app called what visual timer or whatever. So I just have it next to me and I can quickly glance that, okay, how, about how much of the pie do I have left for this particular question, right? And then uh, how do we, what do we do when you can't answer submitted in the hour? Um, I do, I, that does happen sometimes. And I will, uh, <laughs> um, I, you know, even though I schedule it for an hour, I technically have an hour and a half uh, if I need to go over. And some of you have been here for at the end of the hour when I've had to go over. And um, I, of course, you know, apologize and I say, hey, are, are you able to go over? If not, then I'll try to email a few, a few notes to you later. But, uh, but yeah, that's, that's what I try to do. So, but I, I, you know, I think if I plan ahead, that's really the key. If I plan ahead, see, I, it's actually beautifully, I happen to have about five minutes per question today from those who are submitted, the, the, the people who submitted questions in advance. I put them into the document and it happens to be that I have about five minutes per question or per person, which is really helpful, you know? Yeah, go ahead, Liz. When are you then, I know that you answer the pre-submitted questions first, and then do you also then answer them in the order in which you receive them? Uh, depending on they're here. So for example, when I started the hour, uh, I didn't see any of these uh, five people here. So that's why I went to your question first. But if they show up uh, during the call, then I'll, I'll then I'll get to them next. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And those who are here live and who didn't get the pre-submit question, um, it all depends on whether we have time at the end of the hour. But these days, I usually don't have time to answer questions from those who are live but didn't pre-submit. So that's why I always recommend, you know, if you can pre-submit the questions, that would be make it much more likely. So, yeah, cool. Well, we have about 30 seconds left. So. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, no, that's perfect. And um, I had another one, but I think you've already answered it. So no, that's perfect. Thank you. I think I'm going to start doing this. I'm a little yeah. nervous about it. I'm not sure why. Uh, afraid right. of it getting out of control or whatever. Sure, really of course. Yeah, it, 
oh, I have done so I've d- done these just about every month for two, three, four years, maybe. Okay, five minutes is up. Um, and yeah, it takes a lot of practice. And I didn't always have the document like this. And you know, so yeah, it, it, you'll, you'll, you'll learn. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you yeah. very much. Thank you.